Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and this is our fourth video on React Material UI. So in this video, we'll learn about the button group, how we can use them and much more. These are the points. We'll see how we can use them, properties of with the button group and orientation of the button group, right? So if you don't know that how we can use the button and how we can make a click on it and can change the state on button click and uh, how we can change the behavior dynamically, then link is given in the description box. I already made a video on it, right? So now let's start with that one. So let's open the app.js file. And first of all, let's import the button group and uh, uh, button also. So just right here, import something from or package name which is material UI core and just write here button as well as button group right so uh, let's first of all let's take some buttons here like button and uh, let's close it and just take two or three buttons for a moment let's say one and uh, with that let's make a uh, color of it like color we can put the color let's say primary or let's primary and we can also uh, put here variant and variant can be like contained or yes contained is perfect let's make two more buttons and change like two and three right and now you will see that we are able to get the three buttons here right and when we have to use the buttons like this condition so now you can see that there is a, a little bit gap on the border here right due to the radius so this is not looking very nice and we have to just uh, make the adding the properties on the three buttons. So this is not a cool idea. With that, we can just simply add a button group here. So just make a button group, right? And you can simply close it here like this, right? And let's open it. Now you can see that there is three buttons and if you just want to remove uh, any one container, let's say outline, then you can just do it by that way also. But uh, sometime, most of the time actually, you need the same color for all button and same style so that uh, we can just remove these things, right? Just remove the properties and color from here, right? Let's move that one also and uh, let's just remove it the last one now you can find that this is a simple and unstyled button group now let's apply this property directly on a button group and these uh, things will actually uh, automatically contain to the all inner button also so let's say put a color like secondary And the variant can be like contained mm -mm. yeah like this and uh, here you can see that the colors are automatically adjust with the all inner button also right so we can just make a style for the button group and it will just con contain the old button so let's say you just want to put here some properties like uh, uh, disable so you can put it on a button group and it will automatically adjust with the old buttons and let's say you just want these button in a single column way right or you can say that in a horizontal way not in a vertical or a row way right then you can just use here any uh, orientation also so just simply write here orientation and you can put it simply vertical like this 
and now you can see that button are in a single uh, column or you can say that in a vertical way right so that's all about the material ui button group if you still have an, any question regarding buttons and button group you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video